Hello, good morning. Welcome, guys. Thank you very much for being in class. I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you very much. Welcome, Roxana. Good morning, teacher. Hello, good morning. Joseph, welcome. Michelle, welcome. Hello. Louis, Hello. welcome. Morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Morning. Morning, morning. morning. Welcome. Marcela, Joseph, Hilda, welcome. Thank you, Hilda, for the complete name. Excellent job. Okay. Let me see some people, teacher. Ask permission. 9 to 9.30. Because, okay, no problem, guys. I hope you can solve everything. Spelling job, Edith is coming. Jonathan, welcome, brother. Thank you very much for being in class. Good. Doris is coming. I like Doris' attitude, very positive all the time. Hello, Doris, welcome. Hi, Doris. Still waiting for the connection. Marcela, Joseph, Kenya. Good morning. Ready? Hello, hello, good morning, Marlene. Ready for the action? Yes. <laughs> Excellent job, very good. Remember, Marlene, to have your full name, okay? Yes, Audit. Okay, thank you very much, Marlene. I really appreciate it. Doris, ready? <laughs> she hasn't listened. Okay, Jonathan, still working, brother? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Sorry. No worries. No, no, no. No worries, brother. It's okay. Thank you for... Okay. I see that you are always working when you're in class. Excellent. That's that's what you should do, right? That's what you should do. Some people are not working, are in class, very comfortable at home, right? But in your case, it's an extra sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's get it started, please. And we're going to start with a very nice activity, okay? The beginning is going to be different, yes? And we are going to practice a listening, the listening skill. And as always, there is a very nice page that is called ESL Lab, okay? ESL Lab. Very good. This page, ESL Lab, is um, really interesting. Oh my goodness, where is it? Really interesting because ESL lab. Because you can find over here a list of listening depending on your level. Okay, so please, I really recommend you to practice it. Okay, to not only practice it here in the class, but practice it in your house. Okay. Today, we are going to practice this specific listening. This is specific listening. DVD movie rentals. Okay. DVD movie rentals. And we listen and we answer the questions. Okay. That is the first activity. I guess five minutes is more than enough. Doris is joining again. Okay. For example, action, the person dislikes or likes. Comedies, dislike or likes. Horror, dislike or likes. Love, dislike or likes. Foreign, dislike or likes. Which is it? I copy the link. I send the link to you. Very good in the chat of the class. 
and in WhatsApp. Okay, five minutes to complete it, please, individually, guys. When you finish, please send a photo. Send me the evidence. Okay, one, two, three, go. Individually, individually. Hello, hello, good morning. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Okay, we are almost finished, right? The other guys are listening in this moment. Okay, let's give some minutes. Okay, very good. Thank you. I can see a lot of people here that have already finished. Hilda, thank you very much. Uh, for example, Michelle, Liana, very good. And other students. Okay, let's continue please with the next activity. The next activity is this. We click here listening script okay and we check the script i mean what they were saying pay attention it's this one is very easy pay attention and i want to know what kind of movie 
Hey, Kathy, I'm thinking about renting a movie for tonight's party, and I want to know what kind of movies you like. Okay. What kind of movies do you have in mind? Well, what about action movies? I don't really like action movies. Too much violence. Okay. Do you like comedies? Now, I do enjoy comedies. Fine. Well, what do you think of horror movies or love stories? Um, I'm not really crazy about horror movies, but love stories are often fun to watch. Oh, and I really like foreign films, too. Okay, I'll go to the video store and see what I can find. Thanks. Wow, good. So if you see fluency, okay, for example, it says, Hey, Kathy, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about renting a movie for tonight's party. And I want to, and I want to know what kind of movies you like. Hey, Kathy. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about renting a movie for tonight's party. Hey, Kathy, I'm thinking about renting a movie for tonight's party. And I want to know what kind of movies you like. Okay. What kind of movies do you have in mind? Well, what about action movies? I don't really like action movies. Too much violence. Okay. Do you like comedies? Now I do enjoy comedies. Fine. Well, what do you think of horror movies or love stories? Um, I'm not really crazy about crazy about horror movies, but I love stories. Uh, but I, but love stories are often fun to watch. Oh, and I really like foreign films too. Okay. I'll go to the video store and see what I, what I, what I, what I can find. Thanks. There are two words that are here in bold. Have in mind. What is that? Look at this. Have in mind. If you say, for example, I have something in mind. Yes. To Tengo think mi about. Yeah. Uh -huh. it's, it's, it's something Tengo similar, but it's not like literally, literally that. The, the the meaning is think about for example what about the, acerca de, acerca what, de. what activities have in mind for tomorrow's picnic similar to the verb think it's like uh what do you want to do for the morning uh-huh it's the same <clears throat> for example what activities do you have in mind que actividades has pensado for example O tienes en mente. Así tienes en mente. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For tomorrow's picnic. Yes. But that phrase having mind is because the person is thinking. Is thinking. It's an idiom. Este es un idiom. Okay. Crazy about. Crazy about is. I love. For example. Carla is crazy about rock music. Crazy about. Loves, Carla loves rock music. Okay? Practice, please, this conversation. Let me see. Four minutes. Four minutes in groups of three students. Teacher, why groups of three? Because some students, as you know, have emergencies right now or uh, have different kind of issues. If one student is not participating, practice with the other. If you are alone, if you are alone, hay un botón ahí que dice pedir ayuda. Le le clic al botón, yo llego y lo cambio de grupo. Okay? If you are alone in the group. Let's see. I copy the link of the script, guys. I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to share it in the chat. Okay? And also... So, Practice with good pronunciation, fluency, intonation. One, two, three, go. Four minutes, four minutes.
Okay, brother, right now I'm gonna send you to groups. Let me see. I'm gonna send you, Jonathan. I already sent you, but I don't know what's going on. Let me see. Okay, okay, what kind of movies do you have in mind? Okay. Well, uh, okay, uh, you're going to say the, the, the next line, Hilda? Uh, no, next me with Edith. Ah, okay, yes. okay, perfect. Uh, okay, uh, well, what about action movies? I don't really like action movies. Too much violence. Okay. Uh, do you like comedies? No, I do enjoy comedies. Fine. Well, uh, what do you think of horror movies or love stories? Mm. I'm not really crazy about horror movies, but love stories are often fun to watch. Oh, and I really like foreign films too. Okay, I'll go to the video store and see what I can find. Thanks. Okay, Edith. Are you ready? Yes, uh, you are man or woman? Uh, I don't know. A man? Okay. Okay. Hey, Kathy. I'm thinking about renting a movie for tonight's party. And I want to know what kind of movies do you like? Okay. What kind of movie do you have in mind? Well, what about action movies? I don't, I don't really like action movies, too much violence. Okay, do you like comedies? No, I do enjoy comedies. Fine, well, what do you think of horror movies or love history, histories? Um, I am not really crazy about horror movies, but love of stories are often from to watch. Oh, and I am really like foreign feel too. Okay, I'll go to the video store and see what I can find. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Okay, see you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, girls. Take care. Excellent job, very nice. Um, history or story? What is the correct? What do you think? History. In this story. case, it's a story. When we're talking about environment academy, it's history. Yes, it's true. If you see here, look. Stories. Stories. But history is different. Look, his story. Even the way that you write it down, it changes, right? It changes the way you write it down. 
And it will be different if it's just like the same writing, the same words, the same way you write it down. But in this case, it changes the word. So you include, look, the he. Okay, so history. Okay, so for example, uh, Ruth, pro pronounce this word, please. Uh huh. Pronounce this. Stories. 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 Marleni, can you pronounce this? Stories. Very good, Jonathan. Histories. What? Histories or stories? Histories. Mm. Stories. Stories. Sorry. History. History is this. Look. History. Yeah. And the last one. Eva Elena. Can you pronounce this? Stories. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Let's continue with the next activity, my friends. Do you remember yesterday? Your microphone. Teacher. Microphone teacher. Yes. I don't know who's blocking my microphone. We were practicing uh, WH questions. And let's continue with that right now. Practice, practice, pra three times practice is very important. Mm. So look at this. Write a, a question about the underlying words in each answer. Then practice with a partner. Look at this, errors, common errors. Yes, for example, don't add, continue Roxana Maribel, don't add. Don't add is adding to the main verb in question with he, she, it, or singular noun. No. New or nouns? Nouns. Excellent, Roxanne. Where does where does your friend go? Uh huh. So no necessary is not necessary to include goes. Why? Why the third person is not necessary? Because for the auxiliary. Excellent, girls. Because of the auxiliary. Where does the auxiliary has the yes? Very good, has the yes already. Okay. Douglas Ernesto, can you read the first example, brother? What do you do? do on Friday night. What do you do on Friday nights? Yes. Night. Why why is that question? Ah, because the answer is on Friday nights. Oh, I usually go to the movies. Yes. And even even another possibility, what is another possibility? Oh, okay. Another possibility for the question? Only what? Only what? What do you do on Friday night? Another possibility? I when. When. go out. Where? Where? Where, where do where you? Do you do? Where do you go? Where on Friday night. Go. Excellent. Where, where do you go where? on Friday nights? And the person on Friday night. Oh, I usually go. So in this question, two possible answers. What do you do or where do you go? Okay. What about number two? I go to the movies with my best friend. The question is a specific for my best friend, with my best friend. What is the question? How often do you 
Go what with... door is? What door is? How often? How often? How? How often? Is how often is a possibility, but Where? in that case, pay attention. In that case, how often? The answer I always, I usually, I go to the movies twice a week, three times a month. In that case, yes, how often? Uh -huh. But look, but look, I go to the movies who? with my uh huh. Who? With who? 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 Excellent. Who? With. Who do you go with? Who do you go, Who do you go with? Excellent. Go with? Remember, we need the auxiliary. Do? Auxiliary Who do. do you go? Auxiliary does. Who do you go, go. With. with? Okay. Who do you go where? Who do you go to church? Which? Who do you go? To the movies. To the movies. Who do you go? To, to the, the movies. To the movies. With. 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 Yeah. Remember, with. 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 Sim similar to with. With. Who do you go to the movie with? Who do you go to the movies with? I go to the movies with my, my best. best friend. Very good. Excellent. Excellent job. Okay, continue please with three, four, five, and six individually. Okay, let me see. Uh, uh, now, is, now is how often, right? Very good. Uh -huh. Okay, four minutes please individually on the notebook. Four minutes. One, two, three, go.
Okay, very good. Let's check it out. What is number three? Number three says, my best friend texts me two or three times a day. Two or three times a day. What is the answer? How often does your best friend text you? Excellent. How often does, because you're talking about best friend. How often does your best, best friend, friend text you? Text. text you. Text you. Text you. Very good. BFF, best friend forever. Number four. I have dinner with my parents on Sundays. When do you when have do dinner? You have parents? dinner with your parents? When? Very good. When do you have dinner with your parents? What is the answer? I have dinner with my parents on Sunday. Sunday. The answer is on Sunday. Number five. My parents live about 20 miles away. Where, Where do your parents, your parents live? Where? Where does your parents live? Mm. Where do you? Where do you live? Where, Where do, do you? Live you? Your parents? Where because do parents is Where they live. Where do you live? Where, Where do, they? Where do, Where do your parents live? Lives. Lives or live? You have to use S or no. Like no. S? Live. Just no. live. 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 Or just live. Auxiliary. The question or, is. For auxiliary. The question Where is. Our, yes, 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 of course. The, Thank uh -huh. you. The question is parents is plural Where or singular? Your parents. Parents uh, is plural or singular. singular. But, plural. but I ask you. Hello? Aha, uh -huh. parents is plural. Yes, plural. So, with plural But I now, ask you, plural, that. Plural, ah, uh, they do. Aha, uh -huh. excellent. I, they, they, parents, they. parents represent they, so they do. They, of course. Your parents yes. live, very good. Number six, the, my teacher, my teacher, I guess she just goes home after class. What does your teacher after class? What does is correct. What does your teacher is correct? Mm -hmm. What does your teacher do? Do very good. We need we need a verb. Look at the other examples. How often does your best friend text? When do you have dinner? Where do your parents live? In this case, what does your teacher do? Do after class. What does your teacher do after class? My teacher. I guess she just See? goes home My teacher after asleep. class. Very good. Okay. Okay, can I erase it? Yes. Okay. Good. Yes. Now, let's move on. Let's continue with more practice. Practice, practice, practice. Yes, teacher. Practice, practice. Yes. Okay. Pay attention here and we move on to the workbook. Pay attention to the workbook. Talking about the workbook, we are going to practice on this page. Take a look. This is the first activity. Take a look. Instructions, Ruth. How often? How often do you do 
these things complete the chart with the free time activities in the box. In the box, in the box. very good. In the box. We and have add your uh, own ideas. Mm -hmm. With your own ideas. Okay, own, oh, own, very good. Own ideas. Excellent, very good. We have options every day, three or four times a week, once or twice a week, once or twice a month. So the question is, how often do you? Okay, I'm gonna write it here. Pay attention to this. How often do you la la? How often do you eat out, Edith? How often do you eat out with your personal information? Eat out means how often do you go out of your house to eat? In a restaurant, in a pupuseria, right? How often? Every day? Three or four times a week? Once or twice a week? Once or twice a month? Uh-huh. No? No, Edith? Edith Suhey, Castillo Juarez? Sorry, teacher. No problem, it's okay. My question is my question is Edith, how often do you eat out? How often do you eat out? Do you eat out? Um... I I eat out every day, one option, three or four times a week, once oh. or twice a week, once. or once or twice a month. In your personal information, what is the answer? In my case, uh, every day. Every day. Okay, very good. Now you, now you, Edith, ask the question number two to other person. How often do you go on internet? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh... Marleni. Okay, Marleni. Okay, ask the question, Edith. How often? Yes. Okay, how, Marleni, how often do you go on the internet? Marleni? Uh, every day. Every day. Now you, Marleni, other question, other person. Um, Laura? Hi, Marlene. Hi, Laura. How often do you um, go out, uh, go out uh, with friends? In my case, really, never uh, for invent uh, three or times a week. Three or four times a week. Now you ask other person, other question. Okay, teacher, it's uh, Herson. How often, good morning, Herson. Uh, Herson, tell me, uh, how often go shopping? How you often go? go uh -huh. How often go to you go of shopping? How often go to you go? How no, often? How often do how you? Often do you go? Shopping. Shopping. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I never go shopping. <laughs> okay. Uh, now you ask other person, please. Next question. Okay. Um, let me see. Hilda. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. And um, how often do you go to a movie? I go to the movie once or twice a month. Excellent. Very good, Hilda. Okay, continue only speaking. 
only speaking similar to this activity in groups for methods. Okay. How often do you, Fulanita? How often do you go to the gym? Douglas, how often do you have dinner with your family? Kenny, how in the group? Using every day, three or four times a week, once or twice a once or twice a month, I'm going to take a photo of this activity. Or you can take a photo as well, no problem. I'm going to take a photo and I'm going to share the photo in the group of WhatsApp. Only four minutes. We are 8.45, 8.49, we come back. Let's see, different people. Very far. Good job. Well, par de hora. Okay, Roxana. How often do you go to the gym? I never go to the gym. <laughs> Every day, my <laughs> Well, how often do you? Play a sport. I never play a sport. What? I never I never play sports. Yeah. Michelle, how often wash the clothes? Wash, wash the clothes. How often wash the clothes? How often do you wash you your clo clothes? Clothes. Mm. I mm. never really. <laughs> what this other? Okay, the kid leave. Tell me. Um, Roxana. <laughs> yeah. And how often go do you how often do you go out with with friends? Um once a week. Once a week? Once a week. Is it good? And you, um, uh, Ruth? Yes. In your case, how often, how often do you go out with friends? I, I never go out <laughs> with my friends. Because we they have live friends. very far. Good. They oh, live. We have in Sonate. I live in San Sonate. <laughs> and, and your my friends, friends li live in San Salvador. Ah, so sad. Only Roxana lives in Santana. <laughs> <laughs> Once uh, meet. 
but never we do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, you tell me how often how often do you go how often do you go to a club? What club? How often do you go to a club? Up. Club. Wow. I don't know what is club. Uh, club. Club. Uh, yes. I never go to the club. Okay, uh, so how often do you have dinner with your with family? What? How often do you have dinner with family? Twice a week. Twice a week? Twice a week. Uh, in your in your route, how often do you have dinner with your with your family? Maybe twice a month. Twice a month. Yes. Okay. And you? How often do you? Uh, Dinner with your family. Um, once a day, once a day in my in my house, but we um dinner out with my family is once a month. Okay. But in my house, once a day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, Richard, how often <laughs> do you play a sport? Once a week, um, sometimes twice a week, because I have this class. <laughs> and <laughs> my, my cousin uh, called me, say, hey, um, vámonos. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I, I I am starting class here. I don't I don't can. I can't. But sometimes he. How do you say esperar? Okay. Very good. Now, how do you say esperar? Wait, Michelle. Sometimes Wait. he waits for me. Wait. Waits for me. Yes, very good. Thank you. Now, look at this exercise. Instruction, Michelle. Read Craig's. Huh? Michelle, hello. Read Craig's. Weekly planner, are the sentences below true or false with right. T, right, T, true or F, false? Then correct the false sentence. Then correct the false sentence. sentence. Excellent. For example, number one. Look at the information in the planner or in the agenda. Planner, weekly planner. Number one, he goes out. Who, who is he, teacher? Greg, the owner of the, of the planner. He goes out with three, I'm sorry, with friends every evening. Every evening. Let's see. Evening, dinner with mom and dad. Dinner with Sarah. Movie, 
with Jim, club with Bill, with friends. You go out with friends every evening. No, every evening. No. Three evenings a week. Three evenings a week. Or three times a week. Ah, uh, yes. Here, no. 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 Dinner with mom and dad. No. no they are not friends. Ah, Zara is one friend. Jim and Bill. So one, two, three. Three times a week. Or three evenings is the same, a week. More specific, okay? Continue, please, with activity two. Exercise two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Everybody individually. One, two, three, go. In the notebook. Notebook, 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 notebook. Only the answer, okay? Not the complete sentence. Only the answer. Number two, for example. He goes to the library every day. True or false? What is the correct? True or false? Uh -huh. Look at the information. Look at the information. It's false. It's false. Yes. Because... Um... Okay. What, in the what is the uh -huh. he so, goes to the library in the afternoon not every day? Excellent. You can say he goes to the library once a week. Once a week. Once a week. In the week, only one day. Once a week. Continue, please. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Four minutes, four minutes. The number three falls because he goes to the shopping in the afternoon. You got all of it.
Okay. Okay, let's check it out. Number three. Let me see. Number three. Reyes Gonzalez Eva Elena. Mm -hmm. Eva, Eva, remember Eva, primero apellidos, luego nombres, Eva. Okay. 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 No problem. Number okay. four, Iliana. Number five, Joseph Alfonso. Number six. Number six, Gerardo Flores. Number seven, Douglas Ernesto. And number eight, Carla Yasmin. Okay, continue please. Number three, I said, right? Number three. Okay, it's me, teacher. Okay, Eva, go ahead. Okay. Uh, is it true he goes shopping once a week true yes uh -huh. excellent continue number four okay uh, number four is folks uh -huh. uh, he <clears throat> takes guitar lesson on wednesday afternoon ah okay wednesday afternoon very Sorry. good afternoon Five. It's uh -huh. false. It's false. Okay, tell me. Tell me why. Because I can see. Uh -huh. I can see. <laughs> never say that in the week. Ah. Oh, no, no. Oh, Saturday. Uh -huh. One time. So, it's false. It's false. It's false. So what is the correct sentence? He plays tennis? On Saturday. Okay. Twice a, twice a week or once a week? Once a week. Sorry. Once a week. Continue, six. Me, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, he does the letter. He cries three times a week. He falls. What is the correct answer? He does the laundry just the Sunday morning. Aha, Sunday morning, excellent. That's the laundry, that's the uh, Sunday morning. So he does the laundry three times a week or once a week? Once a week. Once a week. Seven? It is uh, false because he said um his part um mom and dad um on the in the evening. Okay, on Sunday, right? On Sunday, on Sunday. evening, or yes, on or you can say on I'm Sundays. Sorry. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, on Sunday evening. Yes, on Sunday evening. Okay, number eight. Number eight. Yes. Uh -huh. it's, true. it's true. It's true. Ah, he cleaned the house true. on Saturday mornings. Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent. It's true. Okay, let's continue with the next activity. What is the activity? Can you read the instructions, please? Let me see. Hilda Noemi? Yes. Now... Answer this question about Chris schedule. schedule. Okay, excellent. Ske Pay attention to this pronunciation. Schedule. Ske J J schedule. Like this. Like this. Schedule. Schedule. Okay. Schedule. Good job. J J schedule. Number one, how often does he go to the gym? He goes to the gym twice a week. Who teacher? What are you talking about? I'm talking about this. I'm talking about Craig. Number two, when does he have classes? How often? What does he, he do? What does he go? I'm sorry. When does he go? What does he do? Who does he play tennis with? 
Well, all these questions are about Craig's weekly planner, okay? So in groups, let's answer these questions. On your notebook, groups of three students. Let me see. Different groups, different people. Six minutes for, no, six minutes, no. Five minutes for this activity, please. Lights, camera, action, go. No. Hello. Okay, the first one, I can see the, the answers, questions. When doesn't he have a class? The first. When does he have a class? Uh, he has the class every day. Monday, right? He has class every day. Oh, every day. And the second one? Has, I did say half, but it's, it's has. Has. Yo no entendí muy bien. Ok. Eh, the third for the other girl. I, no, it's not clear for me, really. I, I, I don't know what, what can I do. What we do. How often okay. does he go to the club and then... Okay, I, I, I explained, guys, that this activity, question one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, these questions are about this information. This information. So you need to check this chart to answer the question. For example, how often does he go to the gym? Who, teacher? Who? Craig, go to the gym. Let's check. Thursday? Go to the gym. No me carga todas. Ah, go to the gym only one day in the week. Only one day. So the answer is he goes to the gym. Ah, twice. On the private is go to the gym. Ah, go to the gym Tuesday. Go to the gym Thursday, two days. Two days a week. Two days a week. Excellent. So he goes to the gym twice because in English, two days, no common. No common. Okay. Twice. Twice a week. Twice plus. Twice. Excellent. So you need guys to check. Check the information here. Okay. okay. And then she. Make me a, a question and then I say the answer. You can only speaking or you can write it. The two options, no problem. It is your decision. Okay, okay. 
Excellent. Very good. He has. He has. Three time. Uh -huh. Yes, he has. Uh -huh. And the he has. He has to to go to to go. Mm -hmm. He has to go to the club. What? How often? Uh, how often do he he go to a club? He has to go no. to to go to no. the club. He goes he to goes. a club once he a goes. week on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Goes once a week. Once a week on Saturday. Repeat, repeat, please. He goes to a club. Once a week on Saturday. To a or to the club? To a or to the to club? To a yes. club. Uh, yes. Once a week. Yes. Mm -hmm. What does he do on Thursday's evening? The club. He goes to the, the club, club Saturday evening. Hmm? Saturday evening. Yes, Saturday we evening. Finish. We finish. Repeat the answer. Uh, the answer. Question. He goes to the club Saturday evening. Club or club? Club. Club. Uh -huh. Club. Okay, Club. thanks. Club. Club. Finish. Yes. Yes, we finish. You finish all the sentences? Yes, we yes. we are, we, we, we finish the eight sentences. Yes. Yes. Excellent job. Okay, one more minute and we go back. Okay. okay. He go. He go. He goes. He goes. He goes. He goes the club with Bill. With Bill, yes. ¿Cómo sería la última? He, go, he go... goes to the club with Bill. Okay. He goes to the club with Bill. Oh, he goes to the club. Finish. I finish. I finish. Thanks up. I Bye, girls. Bye. Okay. My goodness. What is this? Okay. Now, let's check 
Exercise B. When does he have classes? Huh? He has classes three times a week. He has classes one, two, three times a week. Excellent. Three times a week. Three. How often does he go to a club? Uh -huh. How often? He goes to a club once a week. Once a week. Number four. He has a dinner with Sandra. He has dinner with Sandra? With, with Sandra. On? Once a week. Okay. Once a week. Once, Once a week. Once or a or week. you or you can say, what does he do? Uh -huh. He has dinner with Sandra. He eats with Sandra. He goes out with Sandra. Number five. What does he go? I'm oh, sorry. When does he go to the movies? When? He goes. He to... goes to the movies on, on Friday. Friday evenings. On Friday evenings. evenings. Very good. He goes to the movies on Friday evenings. Number six. What does he do on Saturday afternoon? He plays tennis with, with Bob. Excellent. Seven. Who does he play tennis with? He plays with, 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 Bob. Bob. with Bob. With Bob. Where does he go on Saturday evenings? He goes, he to, goes the club. to the club Saturday evenings. He goes to a club on Saturday evenings. Very good. Perfect job. Perfect. Okay. Let's finish this class with the following activity. Pay attention, my friends. Look. Production, speaking, make a survey about weekends. Write five information questions, then ask a partner your questions. We are going to do this activity, but we are going to transform the survey or the questions in a conversation, in a conversation. I am going to make some groups. Let me see. Groups of three students. Groups of three students. Okay. I am going to evaluate this conversation. In right now, I'm going to give you 10 minutes to prepare the conversation. Tomorrow, I give you other 10 minutes to practice. But my recommendation is that after the class, you can dedicate some time to practice too, okay? That's a nice recommendation, but it's your decision. It's up to you. It's all up to you. Okay, what is the activity? You are friends. Well, no, you're not friends. You are in the first day of classes. Is the first day of classes of the university. Okay. Then you go to the class and you sit down, you three together. And you start the conversation. Okay. You need to use questions with WH. For example, oh, I'm well, sorry. Excellent. Uh, I'm sorry. For example, right? I'm sorry. What time is it? Oh, it's 9.30. Oh, thank you. Uh, what's your name? My name is, for example, you can say, my name is Alexander. What's your name? Ah, my name is Ruth. Ah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Ruth. Okay, Ruth, what do you do after the class? 
Ah, what do you do after the class? Um, I go out with my brother to play basketball. Oh, really? Where do you play basketball? Ah, we play basketball in a park that is in front of the house. Oh, really? That's interesting. I like sports too. Oh. I like basketball and soccer. And then the other friend. Oh, I love sports too. Hi, my name is, and then you say your name, right? My name is Fernando. Uh, nice to meet you, Alexander. Nice to meet you, Ruth. I listen that you like sports. Yes, I love sports. Ruth plays basketball after the class. Oh, really? Oh, nice, Ruth. Who do you play basketball with? Porque el otro no escuchó, right? Cuando le dijo Alexander, ah, con mi hermano. Who do you play with? I play with my brother. Oh, you have a brother. Yes. He's older than me. Oh, cool. What about you? Yeah, what about you, Fernando? What do you do after the class? Uh, in my case, I go to the gym. Ah, nice. How often do you go to the gym? I go to the gym three times a week. Ah, okay, that's nice. It's important to do exercise. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay? Similar to the photo. Look. Three friends. Now, how long the conversation? The conversation minimum five minutes talking. Minimum. You can include more minutes if you want. But it is necessary. It is necessary to include the topics of unit one. What are the topics? Present simple, positive, negative question. I include a third, per third person. Okay, tercera persona, necessary. And topic number two, WH questions. Okay, you got it? I got it, teacher. You got it? Yes, we got yes. it. Yes. Yes. Teacher. You can say, I got it, teacher. Or we got it, or uh -huh. I got it, I got you. I got it. I got it. Okay. 10 minutes? No. Seven minutes, and we continue tomorrow. But if you have time after the class, yes, you can have a meeting in Zoom and practice five, ten minutes. Lights, camera, action. Teacher. Okay, sorry guys, sorry. I, I, I listen to someone saying teacher. Question? Yes, uh, I have a question, teacher. Yes, that's sorry. No, problem. no problem. It's okay, brother. Yeah. But the, for this activity, you have to you you, you have uh an assignment for us. Uh I mean uh you 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 have to tell who is who is uh our partner or is is free no 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 in this case for example i am going to form the groups only with uh zoom i am going to take a photo of the groups and i am going to send the photo in whatsapp por si se quieren reunir luego van a ver en la foto con quienes van ah okay mm -hmm. okay perfect excellent very good perfect very good is my question. Yes. Excellent, Luis. Yes, Good, job. Good job. Good job. Good job.
Ah, okay. Yes. Is 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 um is delicious. Yeah. So delicious for me. It's totally delicious. Uh, I love it. Scrambled pupusas. <laughs> me too. Okay. <laughs> do you, Marcela? Do you go out for eat pupusas? Yes, I go. Uh, planes de rendero for it for, for wow. pupusas. How often do you go? Uh, once or twice a month with my oh, family. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> eh, eh, tell me about you, eh, Roxana. No, no, Hilda. Yes. Hilda, you. Okay. Where do you live? I live in Guasapa. <gasps> Guasapa. I like Guasapa. Why? I like Guasapa. Uh, because when I uh, when I was a child, my grandmother uh, uh, go with her and send me a lot of things about WhatsApp. Uh, for me, was a uh, uh, a good because um, I uh, remember she told me this moment. Remember, yes. Okay. Nice. Uh, yes. <laughs> and tell me about. I, I don't. Have, I have a problem. Um, Marcela. Yes. Marcela, where do you live? I live in Mexicanos, a Camil. Ah, Mexicanos. Eh, yes, tell me about yuca frita. Is really false? <laughs> the people say the yuca is so delicious. <laughs> Yes, it's, it's very delicious and I hope you say so do you like, in English. Do you like yuca frita it's, with, yuca. with fish? Yes, I love it's, yuca frita oh, with pepesca. Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you, girls. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Okay, great. Let's see, let's take the photo, please. Give me one second. Okay, one second, guys, give me one second. The thing is that I am with this problem. Okay, at the count of three. One, two, three. Very good, excellent. Okay. I am going to send the photo in the group so you can see that it's real. The photo is real. Very good. Okay, and I'm gonna paste it over there too. Please, if you have the hello, Marlene. <laughs> Perdón, I'm sorry. No, no problem. It's okay. <clears throat> uh, um, you you can uh, repeat the the um, the you see the the practice and the uh, speak tomorrow. If I can give you time to practice the speaking activity? Yes. Ah, yes. Tomorrow I am going to give you 10, 12 minutes to practice, to finish practicing, okay? The conversation. No problem, Marlene. For, for activity. Hello? 
Okay, I have a question for for a speaking evaluation. Uh, okay. the, Tell me the, the question is uh, the the last question that I give give you um for some example. How often do you something like that? Mm -hmm. This is the the, the activity. Yes, the, to these um questions. Yes, asking the questions, right? Like for okay. example. You are the, in the first day of the university and you want to know each other. Yes, and okay. you ask questions like, what's your name? What do you do after the class? Where do you go? Uh -huh. okay. Asking questions. Who do you go with? How often? Yes. Very okay. good. Have okay, a wonderful, amazing day. If you have any questions, send me a message. No problem. Like, for example, hey, teacher, I have a question. How do you say this? And I'm going to help you. Of course, I'm teaching other classes, right? I'm teaching from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. at night. But I can help you during the day. Bye. Take care. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. See you. Bye. See you. Take care. Bye. Bye.